Hi guys, welcome back to the Toy Panic channel. So on today's what's new to unbox, we have another ZD Toy figure. This one is Iron Man Mark 50, which appears in the Avengers Infinity War. So in the front, you can see we have the Iron Man with all the weapon that it comes with. Oh, almost all uh. and the Avengers Infinity War logo yes they have this because it's official so on the side is they have the Avenger logo and on the other side is the Mark 50 image and the name so it's in Roman so Mark L okay so in the back you can see there's a giant den there but it was caused by shipping so we accepted it so you can see there's a front and back image of the figure and every the content of the box so have some of the weapon and a few poses and the details so some warnings and all so i think now we'll unbox the figure so the box is style magnetic style you just open it and it will direct show the figure you can see the figure in the clamshell with a few of the weapons so yeah i'll take it out okay oh it does come with a manual this time okay so the figure comes with two separate two layers of clamshell one with the main figure few of the weapons and the big shield with some effect parts and the stand i think for now maybe we'll check the iron man a bit here's the figure it's very shiny first impression is very clean and the back part is separate because they can interchange with the bigger one in here so for now we'll take it out of the box and display everything that it comes with so see you later a few moments later here's everything that comes in the box so we have all the accessories the main figure himself with the stand and the manual so the manual explains to you on how to insert the accessories it has for the the crab claw cannon the swords and the backpack but it that it gives you a shield but without any instruction on how to hold it so they give you an adapter i assume you just you just hold it same as for the blades okay there's actually two shields so this one and there's two adapters for it so i believe this one he fight with one of the Thanos children the black order the big guy the big guy okay so he comes with three pairs of hand no he comes with four pairs of hand two already attached and there's another three more here so he has the straight posing hand one the handshake lah. then he has the weapon holding hand so it comes with the repulsor blasting hand so now I have the effect part attached but I think you can yes you can just pull out but it is quite hard to go in in some of them it comes with four pieces of the effect part so two for the hands and two for the legs then he comes with a pair of the clap craw cannon something then the giant sword which I do not remember when he used it and the sword that Thanos broke and stabbed Tony Stark in the final fight and he comes with a upgraded backpack also which he comes with a normal one here and the upgraded one the normal one also is not attached to the figure so I think we'll attach it now and we can directly see the figure also so here's Iron Man himself his paint app is quite nice but out of box the figure had some issues with this articulation so it's a bit tight when we wanted to bend the legs and the arms but i think this one is because of the paint not fully dry when they build it it might take some force but it works so no issues there so as i can see from the figure there seems no no paint chipping even how glossy the finish is the figure i think he can stand on its own yep no issue but it comes with a stand which you can use printed with the avengers uh, infinity war and the mark 50 the stand is a bit tall for him to just stand but it might take some effort but he can stand directly on the stand or you can make him do a flying pose or something okay so you can actually the stand can hold him up but it may take some effort okay now i think we'll look at the articulation so first i think we start with the head it's in a ball joint so it moves around freely it goes 360 so you can go it can look up that far or the down is very far so the torso articulation is you can move that far back that far but if you actually put it up you can move far more lower and far more upwards 
so it can move side to side basically it's a ball joint it's an extended ball joint one so it has 360 movement there so the figure doesn't have a waist articulation so given the torso articulation moves very freely i think the without the waist also it's okay and it gives a more cleaner design so the arms has a full 360 ball joint and the shoulder pads is in in a double hinge so it can move out of the way you can put back there the bicep is fully 360 and double bend in the elbow but the arms you can actually pull out to exchange with the weapons so this one is for later but the hand itself is ball jointed so you can pull out and change usual stuff so moving to the legs it's actually a pull down joint so you can actually go that far not that far lah, but for a figure like this something like marvel legend style figure this is quite far the knee is double bend so you can see it does go over 90 and but sadly yeah for me the legs is actually just a ball joint i wish it to be a hinge for more articulation but it's just a ball joint and it barely moves but it's made of a very soft material so it won't break that much most likely won't break hopefully okay i think now we can show it with some of the accessories so i think we'll change the back side first i wanted to see how how does it change the look with the different backpack so to change you just pull out the small backpack base and just add on here directly the same place so you put the back thing can yeah we can change to the sword so we change the sword for the hand we can give him the shield so maybe something like this huh? you can see maybe like a gladiator knight style okay so here it is with some of the accessories and on top of the stand you can do a very dynamic action poses given with the stand and the articulation and with the multiple different accessories you can get a lot of the scenes from the movie so now i think we can compare the height to the other gd toy available figures so now i think we have the mark 7 and the mark 42 so let's see how tall is the mark 50 compared to them or is it within the same scale this figure i think it's a non-scale but i think it should be 110 around there okay so you can actually see the mark 50 is actually a bit shorter than the mark 7 as this is a nano tech suit and this one is a suit that he actually wear okay so i think now we can compare the height so the mark 50 is around 18 cm while the other two is around 18 and a half to 19 cm so it is actually shorter okay so that's it for the review of this week's what's new to unbox so if you like more information on the iron man you can go to our website through the link in our description and if you enjoy the video do give us a like and subscribe see you in the next what's new to unbox bye bye which appears in the Avengers Infinity War. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking, wait, did it appear in Endgame? Ah? No, ah. just the helmet. <laughs> literally, literally, assembly instruction for accessories. Everything else is in Chinese. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Why bother? <laughs> Say it again. Can it do a sassy pose? Ah? Maybe can. Oh my. Oh my. Act 3, 2, 1. Cue. <laughs> Aaron be like, what the f? What the f are you doing with my Iron Man? <laughs>